Uber is taking to the skies. Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone to another video. Today guys, we're gonna be talking about Uber and Bell teaming up to make a brand new product, a brand new form of transportation for a lot of people that's going to revolutionize the world. Are you guys ready? All right, I have an article right here on my phone that I've been reading and I am super happy and super excited about this brand new form of transportation. Now, yes guys, as you can see by the title, it's brand new. It's going to be air travel. Now, we've had air travel for a long time. You could take a plane, you could take a helicopter, you could go all around the world. But say you wanna go across town. Say you don't wanna fly two states over or five states over or a country over. Say you just wanna fly across town or across the city. Maybe you just wanna have a nice night out but you can't get there by car because traffic is too bad. Well, Uber has got you covered. Well, in about five to six years, theoretically. So, I'm gonna read part of this article and tell you guys more about what's going on. At CES 2019, Bell revealed the latest iteration of its Nexus VTOL aircraft, which is being developed as the preferred platform for Uber's Elevate Air Taxi program. So, Uber has an Elevate Air Taxi program, which is basically going to be introducing air travel into Uber's line of transportation. Rather than just driving along the ground, they're now going to introduce the air travel, but this is a few years away as we don't have a reliable form of transportation that meets, I believe it's the FDA standard. The Nexus, as you guys can see on screen right now, may look like an oversized drone, but it's much more. The 6,500 pound aircraft sports six eight foot articulated ducted fans, which enable the platform to lift off the ground vertically. Best of all, the Nexus fits on a standard 40 foot by 40 foot landing pad, which means that cities won't have to radically change existing infrastructure to accommodate them. That right there is about the size of a regular helicopter landing zone. If you were ever to look at a helicopter landing zone, it's about 40 to 40 or 40 by 40. So that's really cool because they're going to be able to use already existing infrastructure and they won't have to create too much new space. Now, the one question everyone's gonna have, can I be dropped off at my house? They are working on that, but it might be possible. So, I'm not truthfully sure how that works. In here, it quickly mentions it, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be a reality, not for many, many years. But let's keep reading. As Bell Reps told us, the Nexus will carry four passengers and a pilot up to a range of 150 miles and be able to travel that distance in just one hour. This isn't the first VTOL aircraft that Bell Aerospace has produced. The company has been building helicopters since the Second World War and developed the V-22 Osprey, another tilt rotor flyer, in conjunction with Boeing. Bell took many of the lessons learned when creating the Osprey and applied them to the Nexus, including a fly-by-wire system that will ensure the aircraft remains in a safe flight envelope. Bell is working with a number of other companies on the Nexus, including Safran, EPS, Thales, Moog, and Garmin, each of whom is building individual subsystems. The prototype at CES was a non-operational company product, but the company expects to begin testing the flight system of the aircraft by 2023 and commence commercial operations shortly thereafter. So I'm gonna have to guess that by 2025, Theoretically, we could have air travel via Uber. That would be really, really cool. Since Bell is headquartered in Fort Worth, Texas, residents of the Lone Star State will be among the first to have access before the program rolls out to the rest of the US. There's no word yet on how much a trip across town will cost, but the process of ordering a lift should be very similar to hailing a car today. Of course, that's assuming that the companies can overcome the numerous hurdles that currently stand in their way. Bell is already working with the FAA to develop sensible regulations to enable these vehicles to operate safely amongst air traffic already existing. But cities will have to develop some additional infrastructure to accommodate the vehicles, and both Uber and Bell will need to convince the public that the air taxi service they have in mind isn't just convenient, but reliable, cost-effective, and most importantly, safe. Really, really cool stuff that actually is coming in the next few years. CES 2019 was an incredible time for technology, and I'm an enthusiast of technology, which is why I'm not limiting this channel to just 
cameras and camera accessories. I wanna branch out, I wanna talk about other incredible stuff happening in the public right now, and CES and NAB are going to be the place to find out about all this incoming and upcoming stuff. I'm really excited because there was also some self-driving motorcycles and also some self-driving taxis. These are on the ground, but this is incredible, guys. So much new stuff is coming within the next few years, even just the next decade, and that's really such a short time away. I'm so excited, but thank you guys all so much for watching. It's been Mikey. Peace, guys.